primary purpose of fire hydrants is to make sure adequate water supplies are available for fire suppression. But they also provide a means for flushing the distribution system and for testing the system's flow capabilities. Fire flow tests are conducted to determine pressure and flow producing capabilities at any location within the distribution system. This information is used to determine how much water is available for fighting fires. The results of flow tests are used for several purposes, including setting rates for insurance premiums by insurance underwriters. In the US, this is also known as the ISO rating. They are also used by designers of fire sprinkler systems, as well as designers of new developments to determine specific system needs. The tests also serve as a means of determining the general condition of the distribution system. Heavily tuberculated water mains or those with heavy wall deposits can reduce flow carrying capabilities of pipes. This reduced capacity can be detected in flow tests. The tests can also help detect closed valves in the system. It's considered good practice to conduct flow tests on all parts of the distribution system at least every 10 years, or as needed to identify the service areas affected by significant changes in the distribution system. Accurate records should be kept of each test and be systematically filed so they are readily available. This video will provide water utility workers with a step-by-step -step guide for conducting flow tests.